Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited because I am on Pier 57 inside Miner's Landing in Seattle, Washington. I am at the Crab Pot, and they have made me a supersized royal feast. So much seafood, over $350 worth of seafood that I am about to dominate. But I'm here with Nick, he is the culinary director for the Crab Pot. Really appreciate you having me in. What they've challenged me to do is just kind of finish it as quickly as I can. But I'm from Missouri, we don't really have any fresh crab there, so he's just gonna show me a little bit on how to crack some of these crabs. But go ahead, Nick. We're gonna start with our king crab here. The best way to shell through that is you just break through this big shell here, you grab this big section out, and what you're gonna do is you are just gonna mow on this entire section right here. Oh, is that a little bit? sweet meat okay. there. Break through this side, break through this side, and then go ahead and pull the rest of our meat out. Okay. So the way we do our Dungeness crab is we pull sections, one, two, three, body meat, fryer leg, okay? You've done this before. Yes, sir, I do this for a living. <laughs> pop, pop, okay, we pull our fryer leg out here, okay, and then you can kind of grab out your fryer meat here, and okay. you're just left with the perfect fryer leg. The other way you could do it is kind so of... So now cool. there's 10.45 pounds of crab. That's correct. <laughs> Next crab, third crab. This is Alaskan Baradite crab. It's a snow crab, but this is king snow crab. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that, follow that same section mod module here. Bam, and I'll show you how you crack through this one. Okay. okay. This is my favorite crab. First thing you do with cracking crab is you go ahead and you release this first uh, ligament here. I pop and I pop and I pull that out. Okay. okay. Next step is I go ahead and I pop my body meat off like I already ate it, all right? Uh -huh. Next section is I put my thumb up against the, the hard structure and then I'm gonna go ahead and crack. Better him than me. And pull this whole entire meat Ooh, out. I want that. Sorry, Randy. Next one is the paleo snow crab just like your other snow crab, okay. okay? Follow the same structure. is a little bit smaller than your bear die. There is your uh, four different crabs. Let's give you a quick shrimp lesson. Okay. The way we do our shrimp is we stick the whole thing in our mouth and chew. I'm just joking. <laughs> I almost got Randy. Um, the way we're gonna go ahead and do that is we're gonna grab right here, we're gonna peel off our skin, and we're gonna pop this guy right in there like this. Okay. And then along with the shrimp, we've got some uh, andouille sausage somewhere, and then we've got some steamed potatoes, and then we've got a whole bunch of corn on the cob. But yeah, I'm just gonna try to finish it as quickly as I can. Big thank you to the Crab Pot for having me out. Hey, thanks, Let's Randy. get this challenge started. This is gonna be amazing, and this is helping me train for the Humpy Seafood Challenge that I'm doing up in Alaska in about a week. But yeah, you've heard everything I got here. Let's just show it up and eat. I've got a Great Wheel IPA, which is kind of a Seattle beer to eat with all this food, but whew, let's eat. One, two, three, boom. All right, gonna put everything in here. Just gonna start with some of this healthy corn. This is gonna be amazing, that Alaskan King Crab. I've gotten like a seafood fork here, but I'm just using my hands like a caveman. So much meat in this. If you have anger management issues, just eat a whole bunch of crap. If you can do that, you're okay. I could lie to you and say I'm getting the hang of this, but I'm working at it.
we're 17 minutes in. You can doubt my crab skills, but you can't doubt that I am enjoying this challenge. This crab is amazing. I'm starting to make some headway. I'm 22 minutes in. Oh yeah. We're 48 minutes in, gonna have some of the andouille sausage. I'm really glad right now that my knees have a towel under them because they are hurt. <laughs> Seven seconds in. Still not full, just trying to get through all this crab. This is a lot of work. Ow! Pretty soon I'm gonna have arthritis, so we gotta <laughs> get all this down. One hour, six minutes, 30 seconds in. Everybody, that, everybody says I don't spend time enjoying my food. I definitely have today. Just two crab or two Alaskan king crab legs left and then just a bunch of shrimp. So much meat, we're almost there. Of 
Out of respect for everybody's time, we've got Nick over here helping to deshell these shrimp. <laughs> Six minutes and 39 seconds in. I've never been eating this. Thank you to Nick for helping me uh, trim all the shells off these shrimp. But it's like a pound of shrimp here. Let's eat it. And then we have cake for dessert. But that'll be quick. The crazy thing is, is, this isn't the end of the challenge. <laughs> Last three pieces of seafood. Yeah. It's a strawberry rhubarb Here's pound our, cake. Yep, there you go. Strawberry rhubarb pound cake in a, in a pan. We fire that to order here so it's nice and warm with the strawberry rhubarb on top. Got this. ridiculously delicious. All four of those crabs were so amazing, so juicy, didn't even need butter or anything like that. The healthy potatoes, the steamed potatoes, the corn, the andouille sausage, the shrimps. Thank goodness that Nick helped me peel all those, otherwise we'd still be here. Whew, that was so delicious. Over like $300, $350 worth of food. But Nick is gonna come over here and he's gonna present me with, I got the meal for free, so big thank you to the crab pot, but to take home, he's gonna give me a sweet t-shirt to add to my collection. Woo! Amazing. They've had that cake for like 35 years Yeah, now. so yeah, our owner, Hal Griffith, uh, saw that at a party, asked the chef for the recipe. We're still making that same recipe to this day. So that's a lot of things that we do here. Good old home style food. Thank you very much for coming down and doing what you do. There's more than one crab pot around oh, yeah. here so in more one California. Yep, we have one in Bellevue, Washington, one in Long Beach, and more to come soon up in Dallas. Yes, and if you are in Seattle, Washington, be sure to come to Pier 57 inside Miners. Landing. Landing into the crab pot and try just so much amazing food here. Just check out their online reviews, they're amazing. But big thank you to all of you. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you so much for staying to watch. This took forever, but it was definitely delicious. So thank you guys all for watching too.